Have a good day. Today you will learn um, the different kinds of variations. And for this week, we will be discuss the first two types of variations, which are the direct and the inverse variation. So let us first discuss the direct variation. So when we say direct variation, it means that for two quantities x and y, an increase in x causes an increase in y as well. Similarly, a decrease in x causes a decrease in y. So here is our example of a table of values that shows direct variation. So as you can see, as the number of time increases, the distance also increases. Direct variation occurs whenever a situation produces a pair of numbers in which their ratio is constant. So again, showing here the given table of values that we have a while ago. So if you're going to get the ratio of each pair of numbers, as you can see, it has the same or equal ratio, which is equal to 10. And this uh, 10 is what we call the constant ratio and usually denoted by letter K. Now here are some statements that deals with a direct variation. First, y varies directly as x. Next, y is directly proportional to x. And then, y is proportional to x. So, whenever you uh, uh, encounter or hear the following terms, directly, directly proportional, and proportional so those terms deals with a direct variation and if you're going to write um, this statement into an equation this will be now rewritten as y is equal to kx wherein our k is what we call the constant of variation another example we have here a varies directly as b so, if we are going to write this statement into an equation, this will be written as A is equal to KB. Now, let us have more statement that we are going to translate into equation using a direct variation. Next, we have the amount A of money you earn is directly proportional to the number N of hours you work. So, if we are going to write this statement into an equation, so using the variables represented as the amount of money, which is A, and the number of hours you work, which is N. So, if we are going to write this into an equation, it will now be written as A is equal to KN. Next, we have the area. A of a square varies directly as the square of its side S. So if you're going to write this statement into an equation, it is now be written as A is equal to KS squared. So as you can see from the statement, it says that the area of A square varies directly as the square of its side, which is S. So that's why from our equation, this is now uh, be written as A is equal to KS squared. So those are the different sample of statement that we can translate into an equation using this kind of variation, which is direct variation. Now let us discuss on how to solve problem involving direct variation. Here are the three easy steps that we need to follow whenever we have to solve problem involving direct variation. First is to translate. So what you're going to translate is the statement or the given statement into mathematical equation. Next is to solve for the value of k, wherein this value of k is what we call the constant of variation. And then lastly, we will solve for the, uh, the unknown value of the given statement. So let us have the first example. The distance d varies inversely as time t. 
if d is 20, then t is 2. Find d when t is equal to 70. So if you're going to do the first step wherein we have to translate, this will be the statement that we're going to translate. We have here the distance d varies directly as time t. So if we are going to translate this statement into an equation, this is now uh, will be the translated uh, statement into an equation. So you have here d is equal to kt. Then for step number two, we're going to solve for the value of our constant of variation. Given that we have here the value of d which is equal to 20 and the value of d which is equal to 2. So for us to solve for the value of k, so we're going to use the equation that we have from step number one. So you copy here, d is equal to kt. Then afterwards, you have to substitute the given value. So your d is equal to 20. So that is equal to copy k. And the value of t is equal to 2. So you multiply k times 2, you have here 2k. And then copy here 20. Then you have to apply here the division property of equality. So we have to divide both sides of our equation by 2. So 2 divides 2 here is 1. So we don't need to write 1 as the constant of our variable k. And then you have to uh, divide 20 by 2 and that will give you 10. So the constant of variation or the value of our k from the given um, problem is equal to 10. Then for the last step, we have to solve for the unknown. And the unknown value here is the value of t, uh, sorry, d when t is equal to 70. And to solve for the unknown, again, we're going to use the equation that we have from step number 1. So you copy d is equal to kt. Then substitute all, the given, all those given values. So d is missing, so you copy. And the value of k that we're going to use is the value of k that we have from step number 2. And that is 10 multiplied by the value of d, which is given, and that is 70. So whenever we multiply, 10 times 70 will give you 7. So therefore, the value of d when t is 70 is equal to 700. And for uh, the equation of variation, if we're going to determine the equation of variation of the given problem, so you have to again look back on the state um, equation that we have from step number 1, and then you will just simply change this k into the value that we have from step number 2. So therefore, the equation of variation for this problem is d is equal to 10t. So again, that is on how to solve problem involving direct variation. Next example, we have here, a mailman can sort out 738 letters in 6 hours. If the number of sorted letters L varies directly as the number of working hours h, how many letters can be sorted in 9 hours? So again, our first step is to translate the statement. And from the given problem, this will be the, the statement that will be translated into an equation. The number of sorted uh, letters L varies directly as the number of working hours H. So if you're going to translate this statement into an equation, this will now be uh, written as L is equal to KH. For step number two, we're going to find for the constant of variation or value of K. And again, you're going to use this uh, equation that we have from step number one. So you copy. So where do we get the value of L and the value of H from the problem? Dito po. There are 738 letters in 6 R. So the value of L is 738 and the value of uh, H is equal to 6. So we're going to substitute them from the given equation that we have. Then you multiply K times 6 is 6K. And then you have to apply here the division property of equality. So we have to divide both sides of our equation by Six. So 738 divides 6 will give you 100 
23. And that is equal to 6 divided 6 here is 1, and that will be the value of our k. So the constant of variation is equal to 123. Then for the last step we're in, we have to solve for the unknown. From the problem, it is asked how many letters can be sorted in 9R. So therefore, the value of L here is missing. So the same thing, we are going to use the equation that we have from step number 1. Then substitute the value of K from step number 2 and the given value of H which is 9. So you have your L is equal to 123 multiplied by 9. So whenever we multiply these two numbers, we have here our answer equal to 1107. So therefore, there are 1107 letters that can be sorted in 9. So again, that is on how to solve problem involving direct variation. So again, uh, the concept that you will always remember or you should always remember if we uh, discuss about direct variation is that um, as one variable increases, the other variable also increases. And or if one variable decreases, the other variable also decreases. So that is the concept of a direct variation. Next, let us discuss the second type of variation, which is the inverse variation. So when we say inverse variation, these are for two quantities x and y. An increase in x causes a decrease in y as well. Similarly, a decrease in x causes an increase in y. So oh, here is an example of a table of values and it has two variables present which is the weight and the distance. So if we're, we are playing here as seesaw, as you can see, as the weight uh, or as the number of weight increases, the length or the distance of the two people playing that seesaw decreases. Ayan. So uh, and this type of variation naman po. The two variables here ay opposite yung kanila pong, um, um, what do you call this? Yung kanilang effect sa isa't isa. Okay? So, as one variable increases, the other variable decreases. Or sometimes it can be as one variable decreases, the other variable increases naman. So, that is the concept naman about this type of variation, which is the inverse variation. Now, here are the statements that you will always remember para alam mo that these statements fall under this kind of variation. Y varies inversely as X. Y is inversely proportional to X. Ayan. So, if you will encounter these two terms, ibig sabihin po, they are dealing with inverse variation. And if you're going to write these two statements into an equation, this will be written as y is equal to k over x. Again, where the value of our k here is the constant of variation. So, ito naman yung format uh, or pattern if you're going to write the statement of, a, of an inverse variation into an equation. So again, we have here A varies inversely as B. So if we are going to write this statement into an equation, we will have here A is equal to K over B. So another thing we have here, the number of slices S that can be made from a standard Pinoy loaf of bread is inversely proportional to the thickness or T of a slice. So, if we're going to translate this statement into an equation, this will be written as S is equal to K over T. Another one, we have here X varies inversely as the square of Y. So, if we're going to write this statement into an equation, this will be written as X is equal to K over Y squared. Okay, so those are some uh, way uh, or examples of statements that we can uh, write into an equation. Now, in solving problem involving inverse variations, we will follow the same procedure or the same steps. Okay, first is to translate the given statement. 
Second is solve for the value of k, and then third is to solve for the unknown. Almost the same, but then on the second step wherein we have to solve for the value of k, um, it will be easier because uh, on this step, we will just simply get the product of the uh, two variables present since the product and this type of variation is constant. Okay, so let us have this example number one. If y varies inversely as x, y is 15 when x is 8. So find y when x is 6. For step number one, we are going to translate this statement, y varies inversely as x. So if we're going to translate this statement into an equation, this will be written as y is equal to k over x. Then for step number two, as just like what I've said before, in determining the constant of variation of this kind of variation under inverse, so we'll just simply get the product of the two variables. So we'll just simply multiply so that the value of your k is equal to the product of the two variables present, x and y. Then substitute the given value. So x is 8 and then y is 15. So 8 times 15, that is equal to? 120. So the constant of variation is equal to 120. Then for the next step or last step, we have to solve for the unknown. We're going to determine the value of y when x is equal to 6. So we have to use the statement or sorry, the equation that we have from step number 1. So you copy y is equal to k over x. And then since the value of y here is unknown, so you copy, use the value of x that we have from step number 2, that is 120, divided by the value of x, which is 6. So y is equal to 120 divides 6 is equal to 20. So therefore, the, uh, the value of y when x is 6 is equal to 20. Then for the last one, if we're going to determine the equation of variation that is equal to y is equal to 120 over x. So since the value of k here is equal to 120. Then for the last example, the number of days the needed in repairing a house varies inversely as the number of men am working. It takes 15 days for two men to repair the house. So how many days are needed to complete the job if there are five men working? So again, our first step is to translate the statement into an equation. The number of days needed in repairing a house varies inversely as the number of men working. So if you're going to write this statement into an equation, this will be written as d is equal to k over m. Then for step number two, if we're going to get the constant of variation, we'll just simply get the product of the, the two values of our given variables. So you have here k is equal to dm. So k is equal to, d is refers to 15 days. So that is 15 multiplied by the number of men to repair the house given, which is 2. So 15 times 2 is equal to 30. So this will be the constant of variation. Then for the last step, we have to solve for the unknown, asking the number of days needed to complete the job if there are 5 men working. So we have to use the equation that we have from step number 1. So d is equal to k over m. So you have here d is equal to your k is the uh, the value of k that we have from step number 2 and that is 30 divided by the given value of m which is 5. So d is equal to 6. So therefore, there, um, there are 6 days needed to uh, complete the job if there are 5 men working. So again, that is on how to solve problem involving um, inverse variation. So that's all in this video. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching.